All right, guys, welcome back to Elm Diesel. It is good to be back. We are back in the garage. We haven't done an install video in the garage in a while, and today we are doing something that I've needed to do for so long. It is ridiculous. Today we are installing new LED headlights and tail lights. We're also doing new uh, black housings as well as a new black grill. Y'all stay tuned for this. All right, just look at look at look at. So this in all of its glory, is the cheapest grill that you can buy on Amazon. It was under $100 black. And then also, these are the cheapest black housings you can get on Amazon as well. Uh, they should work great. I'm excited to see how they work. And then finally, thanks to Oxbeam, we have some new LED lights. They're gonna be going in the front as well as some brake lights as well these things are sick let's see all right check these out look how big and like heavy duty these are like you can see the fan in there um to cool this little led diode and they look pretty sick so of course it's got its little pack there and then it'll hook up to the factory location there so excited to try these out they should be super bright super powerful and then also we have some uh, brake lights as well. So they're gonna look really good in those new black housings. So let's get installing. But before we do that though, I just wanna tell all of you big thanks for all the support for, with the video about the black truck. We're gonna have some videos coming out on it soon. None right now as it is, we still gotta get some parts ordered, but I am very excited to see how the build with the black truck goes. And who knows, it might become the new main truck on the channel. All right, so let's get back to the video and let's start installing all these parts. Okay, so we just got this old grill off. I just want y'all to see this comparison real fast. Like, old, wrinkly, compared to that. Such a difference. But if you're doing this job and you want some guidelines, I'll just start here. Number one, there's all these little bolts here, kind of around as you can see. They're all eight millimeters. And then at the top, there's this adhesive strip that kind of, you know, attaches to the top of your hood. So you'll kind of have to peel this thing off. Once you get it all loose, you'll have to kind of peel the grill itself off because that's if you have a factory grill. If you don't have a factory grill, there's a good chance that you don't have to do this anyway. But anyway, so that's done. Let's get these old headlights out. All right, so just kind of a quick thing on these lights. I already got this one out and just kind of wanted to show y'all kind of how to do it. It's really easy if you haven't done it, but two 10 millimeter bolts right there. And then on the back of the light, there's this little tab that you just have to unscrew. But after that, the light should come out real easy. There it is. Just give it a nice little tug, nice little pull, and just make sure to uh, un unplug your stuff here. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Guess that was a trashy bulb. <laughs> Good thing we're replacing it. All right, so we have our Oxbeam LED bulbs here and I already put one on, but this will be for the blinker. So simple enough. Look how, like, look how great that looks, man. Anyway, that will just simply, that'll just simply plug right in here. You can even do it with one hand, bam, installed. This is a uh, 3157 bulb. And then of course we got the other one installed here. And we're going to go ahead and grab our other ones. These bad boys, which, ooh, I'm excited for, and we're gonna go ahead and plug these in, because you're gonna wanna plug them in first, make sure to test them, make sure they're all good. 
before you install the headlights and everything. Plus, you're gonna wanna do a little bit of cable management. So let me get these plugged in. All right, always smart to test first. But ooh yeah, they are both lighting up good and bright. This looks super awesome. I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and install these on the housings just to keep them all clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the housings in and see how they look. All right, so a quick little update. I actually ran into this weird issue where whenever the truck was running and I turn on the LEDs, they would blink three times just like this. So I contacted the guys at Oxbeam and they sent out this little device that helped to fix it. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, so this is a LED CAN bus and it's an anti-flicker error free little device. So basically, to kind of explain this to y'all, the LEDs on these trucks have a refresh rate, right? So they blink like say 60 times in one second. Um, however, a traditional bulb doesn't have a refresh rate, it's just on. And so a lot of times, if the LEDs aren't getting the proper amount of power, you'll need something like this to make it work. So it's H13 bulbs, which so just comes with these two adapters, easy enough to install. And you literally just plug it in and it works. So I already got it installed on this light and I'm about to get it installed on this light as well. For my truck, it seemed like I had to start it up and it had to be the low beams for me to need this get this other one installed, start it up, and show y'all the result and how bright these suckers are. All right, so we got both lights in, both working on low beams. Let's close this thing. Let's go ahead and fire her up. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn on the lights. This would be the brights, right? And that's the regular. So it looks like we got light. That's bright, regular. Let's go get a look. Oh yeah. Sorry, they're a little dirty. Um, it's been a bit. But yeah, they're both working. Nice, finally got these working. So excited. All right, all we gotta do is wait till it gets dark and then I'm gonna show you how bright these suckers are. Before I show you all the nighttime footage, we gotta get our Oxbeam sticker underneath the hood. So, let's do it. There it is, looking good. All right, let's go see how these LEDs look, huh? All right guys, so we are cruising in the neighborhood and as you can tell, these suckers are crazy bright. So this is the regulars and then these are the high beams. Uh, and then we got the blinkers on. You can just see how bright the blinkers are. It just kind of gives you an idea of how they look at night. I mean, just super bright. Super nice. And yeah, I'm really loving these lights. Those are brights. Back to regular. So, these aux beams turned out super nice. You can look at that, you can see that blinker, look at that, just lighting it up, it's crazy. All right, so this is kind of what you can expect it to look like outside, right? So. Dude, this thing looks so awesome. I have needed like good white LEDs on this truck for so long. So these are gonna do great for now, for sure. So next I kinda wanna showcase the pattern in the light. As you can see, I still need to adjust my headlights a little bit more. You can kinda see that difference in between that one and that one. But there's kind of this unique pattern to the light, right? Like there's kind of like almost this X pattern going on. This is the low beams. If I switch it to the high beams, yeah, you can kind of see this X in the light, which is unique. To get cinematic on you real quick. 
That's how you do a cinematic shot right there. But anyway, yeah, I'm really liking these. All right, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment because we have a lot of stuff coming in the next few videos. We got a sick video with Chris with his 2000 horsepower truck. And also we got some more stuff coming for the Dually. There's some cool parts sitting over there that we're gonna be installing soon. Make sure y'all follow along and I'll catch you in the next one.